bottomless and mysterious, the sky, twinkling down on us with thousands of stars, has enchanted people since the beginning of time. Curiosity has always pushed mankind to explore new expanses and break new ground. Eventually, the thirst for knowledge and technological progress enabled us to start exploring beyond our native planet. This step stirred scientists' curiosity even more, and very soon, new space wanderers left Earth to travel to different corners of the solar system and even further. They were devoid of emotions and senses, with neither doubt nor fear, for these scouts of the universe were machine. Cosmo, the first in outer space, launched roughly half a year before this video was posted on the 15th of April 2021. The automatic space probe New Horizons became the fifth spacecraft in the history of humanity to go beyond the point of 50 astronomical units from the Sun. It was the Voyagers that had crossed this mark before, with the probes Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 being the first ever to do so. None of these space wanderers are likely to ever return to Earth, with some still active on their missions and others having gone quiet forever. Spacecraft New Horizons, launched on the 19th of January 2006, is currently at a distance of 52 astronomical units from Earth, traveling at a speed of 14 kilometers per second or 3 astronomical units per year. Its main goal was the Pluto and Charon mission, and it successfully completed its mission while still operational. Like most other interplanetary space probes, New Horizons performed a gravity assist maneuver near Jupiter, greatly boosting the spacecraft's speed and allowing it to capture high-quality images of the largest planet in the solar system alongside its satellites. Additionally, the probe captured the first-ever video of an erupting volcano on the surface of Jupiter's satellite Io. After completing the gravity boost, the probe made its way toward Pluto. It reached the planetoid's environs in January 2015. The mission's primary goal was to explore Pluto and Charon from different perspectives, including taking photos and mapping the surfaces of these remote space objects. The probe also estimated the magnetic field values and solar wind activity near the objects and collected information about their atmospheres and surface reflection properties. Furthermore, the program involved searching for Pluto's yet undetected satellites and obtaining more accurate measurements of Pluto's orbit parameters. After completing its main mission, New Horizons continued its exploration by flying beyond Pluto's orbit into the Kuiper Belt, producing images of Quawar and Arakoff thanks to its cameras. The distances to the stars Proxima Centauri and Wolf 359 were also measured. Unfortunately, the radioisotope generator on board the spacecraft is expected to start running low by 2026 and eventually, all the meters will switch off one after another. New Horizons will continue on its path beyond the boundaries of the solar system, and by the year 2038, the distance between the probe and the sun will have grown to 100 astronomical units. At that time, the energy generator will have stopped operating completely, and it will be impossible to establish any connection with it. Following a hyperbolic orbit, New Horizons will exit our system, never to return. The same fate befell the two other probes, Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11. They hit an escape trajectory from the solar system a while ago, becoming the first automatic space probes ever sent into interstellar space by humans. Pioneer 10, launched on the 3rd of March, 1972, reached a distance of 127 astronomical units from Earth at a speed of approximately 12 kilometers per second or 2.5 astronomical units per year. Its primary mission was to explore Jupiter. The spacecraft reached Jupiter's system on the 4th of December, 1973, after completing a 641-day journey through space. During the mission, it sent back images of the gas giant surface and its largest satellites, while also gauging the planet's atmospheric composition and magnetic field. Additionally, it was found that Jupiter emits 2.5 times more thermal energy than it receives from the Sun. This data became crucial in understanding the makeup of gas giants and their satellites. Pioneer 11, launched shortly after Pioneer 10, past Jupiter before targeting Saturn. The spacecraft's scientific instruments gauged Saturn's magnetic field, and its cameras took numerous snapshots of the planet's surface, rings, and two of its satellites, Titan and Mimas. Currently, the distance between Pioneer 11 and the center of our solar system is around 106 astronomical units. Unfortunately, both Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 are no longer operational. The last signal from Pioneer 10 was received in 2003, and the last signal from Pioneer 11 was received in 1995. Both probes are now rapidly moving beyond the solar system's boundaries. Voyager 1, launched on the 5th of September, 1977, has traveled 154 astronomical units from Earth at at a speed of around 17 kilometers per second or 3.6 astronomical units per year. Its primary mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn. The contributions of Voyager 1 to solar system exploration are immeasurable. Thanks to this probe, several new Jupiter satellites were discovered, 
along with the planet's ring system. Voyager 1's cameras captured volcano eruptions on Io and provided evidence that Jupiter's great red spot is an enormous storm. After crossing Neptune's orbit, the probe sent back a wealth of data on interstellar plasma. Voyager 1 left both the Kuiper Belt and the Heliopause behind long ago and is now rapidly crossing the solar system's scattered disk, making its way toward the inner boundary of the hypothetical Oort cloud. It holds the title of the most distant and fastest man-made object in space. Voyager 1 will take about 30,000 years to cross the Oort cloud, and 10,000 years later, it will fly by the star Gliese 445 at a distance of 1.6 light years, eventually becoming lost in the infinite depths of outer space. Voyager 2, launched on the 20th of August, 1977, is a twin of Voyager 1. It had Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune as its targets, while also approaching Jupiter for a gravity boost. The images taken by Voyager 2 allowed scientists to hypothesize the existence of subsurface oceans on Ganymede and Europa. Upon reaching Saturn, Voyager 2 measured the planet's temperature and magnetic field, discovering several new satellites. The probe then proceeded to Uranus and Neptune, uncovering 17 new satellites and revealing that both planets have ring systems. The spacecraft is currently 128 astronomical units away from the Sun, traveling at 15.37 kilometers per second. In about 42,000 years, Voyager 2 will approach Ross 248, a dim red dwarf in the Andromeda constellation, at a minimum distance of 1.7 light years. It will also pass by Sirius in around 300,000 years, but at that distance, it will be impossible to distinguish the star from Earth. We live at the dawn of space exploration, and interplanetary space probes represent mankind's first timid steps in exploring the infinite universe. It is hard to predict their fate. They may be destroyed in collisions with celestial bodies, or perhaps they might be recaptured by our distant descendants who will have advanced advanced spacefaring technologies. These descendants could potentially catch up with the probes, recover them from space, and display them in a museum. However, it is more likely that these fragile apparatuses are destined to drift for years and years through the lifeless expanses, only to be lost in the cosmos forever.